From the previous video, you are familiar with comparisons and Boolean variables. We are now moving to what we can do with comparisons. Practically, we can use comparisons for decision making in the program. That is, a part of our code will be executed if certain conditions are met. Otherwise, another part of the code will be executed. I am starting my code where I will show how we can use if-else statements. The name of the class is condition test. Of course, the name of the file is condition test.java. I have already written the main method inside which I will write my code. I am declaring two integer variables x and y. The variable scan is my scanner object using which I will get input from the user. I have written my code to get input for the first number x and the second number y. At this point what I will do is I will print a message if x and y have a certain relationship. The statement is uh, written using if then in parenthesis state the comparison. Within the parenthesis you must have a boolean value. Notice that the comparison x is greater than y results in a boolean value either true or false. Again at first write if then with parenthesis provide the condition or comparison that results in a boolean value. After the parenthesis provide the scope of the code that should be executed if the condition in the parenthesis results in true. You define the scope using a left curly bracket and a right curly bracket. Anything you write inside the curly brackets will be executed. Only if the condition you have provided within the if statement results in true. Inside the scope of the if statement, I have written um, a system.out.println statement. If x is greater than y, then the system.out.println will print x is greater. Let us save the file, compile it and run it. If the user enters a larger number for x than y, then the program should print x is greater than y. Otherwise, the program will print nothing after the user enters the numbers. The user enters 10 for x and 5 for y. The program immediately prints x is greater because the first number the user provided is greater than the second number. Let us run the code again. The user now provides 10 as the first number and 20 as the second number. Now the program compares x greater than y which results in the comparison 10 is greater than 20 which in turn results in false. Since the if statement results in false, the system.out.print line is not executed. The program just ends without printing anything. Now, if you want the program to print something when x is not greater than y, then we can create another scope, which will be executed if the if statement results in false. What we write is else, and then we create another scope using left and right curly brackets. You can print anything inside these curly brackets, um, anything you print via a system.out.println statement will be printed on the terminal when x is not greater than y. Let us just print um, x is not greater. Let us save the file, compile it, then run it. Now notice that for the first number 
10 and the second number 20. The program outputs x is not greater. Earlier, the program was not printing anything for 10 and 20. Running the program again with 20 and 10. Now the program is saying x is greater. That is, if the first number is greater than the second number, the program says x is greater. Otherwise, the program says x is not greater. Now, what will happen if the user provides two equal numbers, say 10 and 10? Based on the code we have, the program will say that x is not greater. Notice that in the code, the if statement will result in false because x is not greater than y. Therefore, the first system.out.println will not be executed. The execution will go to the else part and execute the system.out.println of the scope of the else, which is x is not greater. What if we want to say something different when x and y have the same values? Practically, we have to include a scope uh, which will be executed when x is equal to y. In the code, currently we have um, if x is greater than y, then do something, otherwise do another thing. The otherwise part executes only when x is smaller than or equal to y. We will separate the smaller than part and the equal part. In the else part, we will include another if statement with a condition x is smaller than y. When x is smaller than y, we want the program to print x is smaller. Save the code, compile, and run the program. When the user puts 10 as the first number and 20 as the second number, the program outputs x is smaller. It is the correct outcome. When the user enters 20 as the first number and 10 as the second number, the program prints x is greater. This is a correct outcome too. Now notice that when the user enters 10 as the first number and 10 as the second number, the program does not print anything. That is, when the user provides two equal numbers, the program does not go to any of the if scopes. We would like to see output for the equal situation too. Notice that the first if statement handles the situation with x is greater than y. The second if statement that is, with else, handles the x is smaller than y situation. The only situation left is the x is equal to y situation. Therefore, we can simply add an else to handle the scope of x is equal to y. Inside the scope of else, we write equal numbers within system.out.println statement. Let us save the file, compile the code, and run the program. Notice that for equal numbers, the program now outputs equal numbers. We have now written a program that takes two numbers x and y from the user and gives an idea of which number is larger or smaller or if they are equal. Here is the general structure of if-then-else statements. The first if statement is straightforward. If more if statements are required in a sequence, they must be preceded by an else. 
You can write as many else if conditions as you need. You may end the if then else sequence with just an else. The last else will cover all situations that are not covered by all the if and else if statements you have in this sequence. This overall sequence is called if then else statements. One thing I should mention is that each scope under an if statement or an else if statement or an else statement may have many lines of code depending on the problem the programmer is trying to solve. In our example, we just had a system.out.println statement within each scope. Once a condition of the sequence is satisfied, the corresponding scope is executed. Nothing else will execute. The purpose of if-then-else sequence is to execute only one scope. Please practice what we have discussed today. For exercise, please visit the link provided in the description. Um, subscribe to um, this YouTube channel and to our website computingforall.com. We do not assume that you know anything about programming. Our video lectures so far are prepared for beginners regardless of their backgrounds. Please um, start from the beginning of this lecture series if you are entirely a new learner. See you in a few days in the next video lecture. Um, meantime, please do not hesitate to send us um, any question you may have um, through the comments section below or uh, via the contact us form um, on our website competingforall.com. Thank you very much for watching the video.